Siddhant. In this video, I'll help you to understand how delicate works. So, I'll create a delicate uh, design pattern to pass value from one view to another view controller. And the direction is backward, obviously. For that, we need uh, delicate. So, here the requirement is if I click on this pass value, whatever message I want to pass, that will come and reflect on this view. So, so this is my main page and this is another view so this view I can hide and so so from this view I want to pass message to this view controller so for better understanding let's go to the storyboard here this is a storyboard and for this storyboard you can see the class this is view controller so the class is here view controller and you can see the view pass value so this is the hide and so value uh, hide and so view I'm sorry so this view I'm using uh, for hide and so so the requirement is I have to pass value while I'll tap on this button so so the requirement as for the requirement we have the same value from here from from here to here so as you are sending value from here let's create a protocol here So it's a message protocol. Message and let's keep it message sending sending protocol. This is sending protocol. And here <coughs> I need a method to send message. Uh, so it will get message get message void get message and the message is of type string so in a string and I'll be getting the message So I have to create a property for the protocol. So property this is of type weak. So this is none of weak and weak. And uh, you should know one thing why I am declaring this as weak is so every time you are sending value. Uh, to the object uh, that should be dereference once the work is done so well the next time you call this delegate while well, you will use the delegate it will point to the new reference object uh, I mean the point is every time the reference count will be zero while it will be called right? it will not point to the same object that's why because it will uh, nil the object internally that's why we need weak a type now this is the ID type and uh, we need a message sending protocol let's use that method sending protocol and this is uh, protocol So you can uh, name it as uh, delegate. I'm sorry. You can name it as delegate if you want. But I have written as protocol just for the understanding sake how it works. And inside dot in you have to send the value. So you will be sending on tab of message uh, send messages or uh, things. So on tab of 
on top of this past value on top of past value so that past value action through IB outlets uh, I mean through IB action you can see here so I'm writing if uh, so this is protocol right so let me check if protocol you can write self dot protocol or protocol like this you can see methods sending protocol right our protocol only so protocol respond to selector and the selector is the method name what is the name of the method get message and it has parameters so let's get message and here okay and it needs to do something so what it will do it will call protocol sorry it's a get message get message and what message you want to pass you want to write some text suppose uh, you are awesome so you want to send the value from here and where you want to receive it so you will receive it at your main view controller so let's go to main view controller and and uh, let's copy the method from here let's go to main view controller and under uh, view did load will be load there here you can paste it so uh, you'll be getting the message here so whatever you want to do you can perform the task so how to get the message first you have to use the protocol that protocol is what is the name of the protocol let's go to here this is the name of the protocol so you have to implement this okay we'll be using this and we are using this protocol for this text view and the text view has reference text so let's write text dot protocol text dot protocol equal to self okay self is nothing but here I have mentioned this one so I'm writing self and I'll be getting the value here in message so I have to update the label and the label label name is this one so label dot text text equal to text equal to message let's put two breakpoints for our easy understanding how it works let go to the text here it is okay and uh, I have already sent the breakpoint let's run this again and let's check how it works okay so let me show if I tap on pass value the action has uh, called here and let's go to the get message okay here we are passing the value okay it came here now you can see the message you are awesome now this thing will be printed over there because we set the value to the label you're awesome so this is about how delegate works so this is very simple
the first thing you have to understand from where you want to pass the value just have a, a declaration and create a, prop, a create a property the way I did here I want to pass from text view this from this view so I came here and I created a protocol here and I want to get this value here so I went here and I wrote the same method here so in this method I'll get the value directly and for these I have a calling method so that I have done here so here I'm passing the value and this value I am accessing here and how it works because of this because I am implementing the protocol here and it has the reference and it is pointing it is responding to this then I am getting this value this is how it works so thank you so much I believe it will be a helpful video for you if you understood it then it's very nice if you are if you're stuck at somewhere or if you couldn't understand then uh, let me know so that I can uh, clear you better thank you so much let me stop it uh, okay thank you